Welcome to my channel. I'm going to use solar energy to drive a small water pump. The water pump is 5 watts and 12 volts. Here it is. And I'm going to have a head of 1.5 meters, which is the height above the water level. I'm going to start by hooking up the panel directly to the water pump. Let's put the panel in direct sun. And away she goes. But they can actually be really contrary and the moment the sun goes behind the clouds, um, the pump stops working. And you know, just a little bit of shade and it stops working and it might not start again. Not really ideal. I want to be able to use that energy that I'm getting accumulating in that solar panel to drive the water pump as best I can. So I'm going to disconnect it and I'm going to connect it up to a supercapacitor, the solar panel. So the solar panel is going straight into the supercapacitor. This supercapacitor here is a 16 volt supercapacitor model number 16V16F cost around $16 uh, the six 2.7 volt su super capacitors in here and on top it's a protection board uh, essentially over voltage protection and if you look closer you can see these little resistors two 10 ohm resistors in parallel so they're 5 ohms each uh, so 2.7 volts squared over 5 ohms means that these are about one watt each so the board can dissipate six watts total when it gets over the voltage uh, that it can handle so the thing about supercapacitors is that when they go over voltage they die so you've got to avoid that and that's what this little panel here does noting that the solar panel can actually produce 17.4 volts, which is too much for this supercapacitor. Let's hook it up. The supercapacitor is fairly well charged from memory. And we'll look at that voltage. So a little voltmeter. Fifteen. Okay, so it's got to fifteen point nine, and that's it. The solar panel is essentially um, being the charge being, is being dissipated by those resistors. So that's about as high as that's going to go. If the solar panel was any larger than that six watts it would be uh, pretty bad, I'd say. Right, so next we can hook up the solar pump to the supercapacitor. And it's going to go good. So away goes the solar pump. Let's look. what's happening so the sun's shining on the solar panel full sunlight and it's essentially consuming a little bit more than what is being generated but only a touch at 15 volts might be different at something like 12 volts But the pump's cranking. That's great. The problem will be when essentially the sun goes behind the clouds or there's no sun that day. And the supercapacitor will go down in voltage. 
quite quickly. And once it gets down to about 8 or 9 volts, the pump will still keep going. It'll keep spinning, but it won't have enough power to reach that 1.5 metre head. So essentially it'll consume all of the power in the supercapacitor and won't be pumping water to that 1.5 metre head. That's why I've got this other little board here. So this one is called a battery over discharge uh, protection module. Uh, this one's an XHM609. Um, so it's got an automatic power off function when the voltage gets too low. It does consume a little bit of power, maybe one watt. Okay, so that goes after the in comes from the supercapacitor. So the supercapacitor connects to the input. And I'm going to connect the pump to the output. Now, it's not going to go until it reaches 14, well, I think 14.3 um, volts. Um, there was a little time delay then, but essentially, once you get up to a certain voltage, it turns on which is 14.3 volts, or just over 14 volts. If you look here, this little button tells you it says 12 volts, which is um, the voltage when the output switch is off. And then when you press this button, that's 2 volts. Essentially, it adds 2 volts to that 12 volts, so at 14 volts it switches back on. So we can see that even with the direct... Oh. Let's put the solar panel on. So that's why it was discharging quite quickly. So it's even Stevens. It's not too bad. It's maintaining the voltage... Although, it, no, it's oh, it's consuming maybe a little bit. And the water pump is going really well. So what this will do is it will, when, it, when the voltage gets down to 12 volts, it switches the output off, the output to the pump. And then it charges up again. And once it gets to 14.3 volts, um, it switches it back on again. So the pump is working between 12 and 14 volts. So it switches on and off, which is fantastic. Uh, that's really what we want. Uh, that's while the sun is, is shining. So we'll have a look at... Uh, how well it works in cloudy conditions. It is consuming a little bit more, the pump is consuming a little bit more than what the solar panel is producing, which is fine. So, the pump is pumping, and the voltage is going down, and at 12 volts, Eleven point nine volts. It switched the pump off. So it's got to fourteen volts. Uh, it's charging. The pump is off. The light is off. And then once it gets to about fourteen point three, it switches the pump on. There you go. Away she goes. So the solar panel's there. And it's going to slowly 
this charge till it gets to that 12 volts and at that point it switches off to recharge.